Hi there, Colin Daniel from RiffNinja.com. Uh, this is Smoking in the Boys Room, originally written by Brownsville Station, uh, made famous again by Motley Crue. Uh, the endings are different and the arrangements are slightly different. The solo in the original is a harmonica. The solo in the uh, Motley Crue version is on the guitar, of course. I'm not too worried about the solos or any of the uh, solo parts because if you can get the main part, the uh, solo part is a relationship of the main part and the chorus that I'm going to teach you now. And since I don't have like three million hours to go through this in super detail, and since this is more for a beginner, just getting introduced to the song, I'm going to keep it as simple as I can. The song starts on the original with a, a semitone slide up using a D power chord. So it goes D flat to D, so fourth fret slide to D, which is at the fifth fret. So you strike the power chord. It's just two strings, fifth and fourth string. Strike the power chord. And then you slide up, right? And let it ring. You don't, want, you don't want to take your hand off because as soon as you do that, you mute the thing, right? You want to hang on to the strings. So, and then the other change is from the A to the A sharp. But at the very beginning, they just sit on the D. You know, he tells you a little story. Can I tell you a little story, you know? You know how about his bad day, right? Then once he gets going, he starts to sing the verse. He goes, sitting in the classroom, thinking it's a drag. Now he changes the A. Listen to the teacher. Just aim my bag. Back to the D. Two more times to the D. Two more times for the A. And then on the very last day, it just does a chug on the A sharp like this. In triplet. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. So a verse, if you count it from the time the vocals start, which is probably the best place, um, it's two Ds, two As, two Ds, two As. So like this. Here comes the last two. Here comes the fill. And that takes the end of the chorus. The chorus is three changes. It's G, D, A, G, A, G. Back to the riff, to the D. And how that works. As you notice, I was using my pinky here. This this isn't uh, this is a fifth, and this is a major six. These are a lot in blues and blues rock. It's called a shuffle pattern or a boogie pattern it's because it's related to the rhythm that it it works well with. Um, you could play with just power chords like this: G, D, G. play the power chords like that or or do the chorus with the extra major six you could go smoking in the boys room you know G then smoking in the boys room D then the teacher part teach you don't you feel me A up with your rules G cuz everybody knows then you stop on the G smoking ain't allowed in school and then you back to you know back to the D semitone slide to the D but I prefer to add the major six to it, so I'll go smoking in the boys' room, you know, to the D. It sounds way better with the crunch on. Remember, if you're in BC, it's not smoking in the boys' room, it's token in the boys' room. All right. And if you're not in BC, don't worry about it. It's just for the BC residents. Have a good one, man.
It's Colin Daniel from Riff Ninja. Signing out. I'm going to be talking in the boys' room later. See you later.